This time, like end of this video, we are looking at Mary the First's foreign policy. So not a lot happened in Mary the First's foreign policy, but what did happen was the result of Mary's marriage to Philip of Spain. And Mary's marriage to Philip of Spain meant that it was very hard to keep impartiality in foreign affairs. So this meant that Mary was basically dragged into the Franco-Spanish War by Philip, and this war was between the Spanish Habsburgs and the French Valois monarchy, and it had been instigated by the anti-Spanish Pope Paul IV, so this meant that Mary was effectively at war with the papacy. And England declared war on France in 1557 after Thomas Stafford, who was the grandson of the Duke of Buckingham who had been executed in 1521, led French troops into Scarborough. And this war was received warmly by the disfavoured nobility, who were keen to gain some credit with the Queen after their links to Edward. And at the start, English and Spanish troops were able to achieve victory at St Quentin. However, Spain were too exhausted financially to follow up the victory, and this meant that in January 1558, France had seized Calais from English hands. And this was a humiliating loss because Calais had been in English hands for centuries and it represented the last of the great medieval empire. English troops also made no attempt to recapture the city and a summer attack in 1558 on Brest was another extremely large failure for the English troops. However, despite her foreign failures, Mary was able to improve the military and the navy. And in her reign, six new ships were built and many others were repaired. And this was done with a navy budget of £14,000 in peacetime. There was also complete reorganisation in the administration and finance of the navy. And this was done by the highly efficient treasurer to the navy, Benjamin Gonson. Mary also reformed the processes of raising troops. And this was done by two acts of parliament in 1558. And these were the Militia Act which laid down a system of commissioners from, of muster with responsibility for organising the recruitment of regional militias in wartime, and the Arms Act, which established better procedures for supplying weapons to the royal forces. So that is a slight positive of Mary's foreign policy, however her humiliating loss in Calais and the other humiliating problems in her foreign policy clearly outweigh it in many respects. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.